A French woman whose husband has admitted to enlisting dozens of strangers to rape her while she was drugged told his trial on Thursday that police had saved her life by uncovering the crimes. The police saved my life by investigating Mr. Pellicott's computer, Giselle Pellicott told the court in the southern city of Avignon, referring to her husband one of 51 of her alleged abusers on trial by only his last name. Speaking for the first time since the extraordinary trial began on Monday, Giselle Pellicott, now 71, revealed her emotion in almost 90 minutes of testimony, recounting her mysterious health problems in a fateful meeting with police. For years, she said, she had had strange memory lapses and other health problems and thought she might have had Alzheimer's. In November 2020, she was invited to speak to investigators, who showed her the images of a decade of sexual abuse orchestrated and filmed by her husband and her world fell apart, she said in court. For me, everything is falling apart. Everything I have built up over 50 years, Giselle Pellicott said. She had told police that Dominique Pellicott, her husband of 50 years, was a super guy, she recounted as her daughter and two sons watched the testimony. At that meeting, the woman was shown barbaric pictures where I'm lying motionless on the bed, being raped, she remembered as her husband listened with his head bowed. Frankly, these are scenes of horror for me, she said. They treat me like a rag doll, she told five judges, adding she had only plucked up the courage to watch the video footage in May. She said that none of her abusers alerted the police. Even an anonymous phone call could have saved my life, the woman said as her husband kept his head down. Lawyers for some of the defendants had questioned on Wednesday whether the couple had had a libertine relationship, or whether it was credible that Pellicott had noticed nothing for the entire decade of the abuse. Don't talk to me about sex scenes. These are rape scenes, she said on Thursday, emphasizing that she had never practiced swinging or any other form of libertine sex.